Linda and I had a great time camping this past weekend, but I discovered that I can sleep in her bunk athwartships or sideways. I thought I was too tall for that and I never crawled up in there, but I did and it works. So I'm getting rid of my bunk and building another pipe berth in the back. I'm gonna show you how to do that. This has actually been our setup for, oh, I don't know, several years now. Her across the back and me down the side like this. But I'm only 5'11", and uh, I can sleep sideways. My head does touch either side, kind of, just almost, if I'm laying on my back. But I, I'm not a back sleeper, I'm a side sleeper. So what I'm gonna do is build another pipe berth back here. I'm gonna make it six inches wider so that I can sleep a little diagonally if I feel I have to. And uh, I'll show you how, how to do that. Okay, a six by 10 cargo trailer, the inside measurement is about 70 inches. Some things that are going through my mind is I want my bunk to be just high enough that even with the slight sag in the canvas, I can still push some bins underneath for storage. So I, I don't want to lose any storage space back here. I showed in a previous video what I did with this one is I needed to space the support out so it took in one, two, three vertical frames. But when I build mine, I don't want this piece in here because I can't afford to lose this distance on either side. So I'm going to build mine a little differently. But this one now has been up here for several years and it hasn't moved a bit. But when Linda weighs a lot less than I do, so I'm going to have to make sure that mine can take the weight for sure. But I've got an idea. Okay, what I've decided to do here, instead of making a long flat piece that goes across and takes in these three vertical frames, I'm going to put in a piece that takes the load right on down to the... Uh, to this baseboard down here. It'll carry the load right on down. So it'll be a vertical piece like this. It carries the load down to here. And then there'll be two pieces on top that are have a one and three quarter inch hole cut in them to accept that piece of pipe. And this is gonna be really strong. I may not have to use two pieces of these plywood. I might get away with just one here. That may be thick enough to do it. I'll decide after I fit it. the mounts came out looking like or the rack whatever you want to call it now you'll notice that this one I had to notch out just a little bit for that screw head right there from the uh, that's from the hinge or the uh, door latch outside and then this one over here it'll mount somewhere in here along the underneath this frame but I'm not going to mount this one until I get the canvas made because I may need to shift it a little bit just to make up for the uh, stretching the canvas. So on this side, there's two that have a round hole. And you can see it's just two pieces of plywood put together. And then on this side, there's two that are notched at the top so that the pipe will drop in. 
And on top of here, there's going to have to be something that holds the pipe from bouncing out when you're going down a, a dirt road or about a rough road. This is what I did over here. And it's been working so well, I'm just going to do it on the other side too. It's not fancy, but it works. It works just fine. Now I'm going down to the hardware store, down to Home Depot actually, and buy the pipe. It's heavy wall, electrical conduit, one and three quarter inch. Let's go get it. Well, what I got was two 10 foot lengths of one and a half inch EMT conduit. It's uh, electrical conduit and it runs about 18 to 20 dollars a length. I had to buy two lengths because it's 10 foot. It's too bad it's not 12 foot because then I could have bought one. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta cut it now. Well, I got that framework all installed in the trailer and now I'm towing it down to the tent and awning place and let them take some measurements so they can make a cover for it. Let's see how that goes. Well, Linda and I are here at North Country Canvas in Great Falls, Montana, and they're making the pipe berth cover for our cargo trailer conversion. So we'll show you a little bit about that and make sure that uh, you guys know how to get a hold of them in case there's something that you need to have done. I'd like to be able to adjust the tension on this one. Sure. So do you Can have any ropes underneath of it? Yeah, like I thought. Thing? Yeah, I thought if you if you wrapped it like a like an open ended pillowcase and then mm -hmm. um, and then did the uh, so I can lace it, just leave a gap down the middle and. Yeah, I think that would be definitely attainable. Okay. Um, so other ones that we've done, we've done like fold out chairs that we just do a sheet that has grommets on it, and then mm. you'll wrap it. And that way you can tighten it or loosen it if you want it a little bit, right? you know, yeah. to give. Yeah, we can definitely okay. do that. Cool. Well, that's what I want. What kind of fabric do you think? Yeah, so probably I would guess a canvas would be good for this. What? How heavy do you think? Um, you know, probably a 12 or 10. I was, 12 is heavier, yeah? Yeah, 12 I was, I was thinking of the 12. Yeah. yeah. So I want to do something so thick that it's like a bread cloth material, but I would use something that's a little bit thicker than your normal, you know, like chair. I'd do it a little bit thicker. Okay. So probably 10, maybe even 14. Let's take a look at samples. All right, let's go do that. Cool. Cool. So here's like a 14. Okay. Mm -hmm. Even that's all right. But, mm -hmm. Oh, and this is a 12 up here? Uh-huh. 
These ones yeah. have different treatments on them too. Okay. Yeah, either the 12 or the 14, I think it'd be all right. Okay, perfect, yeah. We could definitely do that. Let's get some measurements. Okay, cool. All right, so now the question would be, how far around do you want it to wrap around your poles? Um, you mean, the, of course, if, if it's, uh, the, the further it meets in the middle, then the less lacing I'm gonna have to deal with. Right, exactly. Yeah, so it probably needs to come almost all the way around and just leave like a three or four inch gap in the bottom. And what do you think the spacing on the grommets? So. I was thinking like four inches or something. Yeah, I would do somewhere between three and four. Okay. So what we would do is we'd probably lay out the fabric and then... Let's do 73. Is that right? We have some to tuck in. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. They can still chew, you know, move their face, but they can't turn around and nibble on your legs. Oh, I see. Yeah. So that's for horses. That's for a horse. Of course, of course. Oh, cool. Well, this is Montana. It is Montana. Remember, that's my bunk. <laughs> it's closer to my butt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rick, you done in there? Rick? Yeah, he's done. So, if you like the video, hit subscribe and share with your friends. We'll see you around.